In this contact video tutorial, which is part of a month long series, I'll walk you through creating a progressive house song with sound sample from Massive. In this first part, we'll look at sampling respace and dark bass sounds from Massive and adding them into a contact instrument. Don't forget to check out www.massivesynth.com for tutorials and sounds from Massive. And never miss a tutorial by subscribing to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash adsrtoots. So Johnny over at Massive Synth created some Reese and dark bass sounds with, with Massive. And in this month long series, we'll cover creating a progressive house track by sampling, resampling, effecting, and filtering those sounds until they sound like something else. In part one, we'll start with sampling the sounds from Massive. So these are the sounds here. I'll just go through them. So as you can see, these are really, really dark and and and, and modulated bass sounds. I like that one. try to find something that will sound interesting as a lead. Which sound you choose because we're, we're gonna run we're gonna run this sound we're, we're gonna resample it and um, maybe time stretch it we're gonna do a lot of things to it so in the end it, it won't even sound anything like it sounds now so it kind of really doesn't matter which sound we choose so I think I might just choose four random songs for me four random sounds and the way to sample into contact, there's there's a million ways to do this. Um, you can route audio into another audio channel. Um, you can use an external plugin. You can use something like Soundflower. Um, I think just to make it simple, since I'm using Logic Pro X here, what I'll do is I will I will bounce massive down to an audio file, and then just import those audio files into contact. And once again, there's a couple different ways to do this, but I think the way to do it in one pass, the best way to do this will be to duplicate massive. Um, and for each instance, choose the preset that I want, add a couple MIDI notes and bounce that down to audio. So let's, let's start with that. I'm going to start with bass 101. I'm going to rename this so that when I bounce it, the track will say bass one. I'm hitting command D in contact to duplicate mm. the channel. And sorry about that. That's my, uh, the new notifications on Mavericks coming in. Let's choose another one for this. Mm. I'm just gonna grab four random sounds from this kit. I think I'm gonna stick with sixteen. I'll call this base of sixteen. Duplicate it again. I 
kind of wish Massive would be smart enough to know the last floor that I was in, but uh, it doesn't seem to be doing that. Let's see. Let's go with forty, see what we can do with that. Let's duplicate this one more and choose another preset. sounds by the way I might even come back and use one of these bass sounds as the base for this track we're going to create let's take this one bass 08 all right so this should, this should work the same way regardless of the browser that you're using. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an empty MIDI region and it's called a region or a part or whatever depending on uh, what uh, what DAW you're using. And I'll open up the piano roll. And I'm going to take one octave. Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to write a note for one octave and duplicate this MIDI part. I think I might need longer, longer notes. Actually, I think that might be. Uh, just want to make sure that the uh, the actual sound cycles through its uh, envelope. I'm also leaving room a gap between the notes for a tail. I actually think this is a too big of a gap. So let's move these over. Okay, so I think um I think the note length that we have so far, which is one bar, um looks like that should suffice for now. Open up the list editor to make sure I got all my notes. C, C sharp D. And then I'll just make it easier by copying all of this. I'm holding Alt down on the keyboard to duplicate. Like, wow. 
logic just okay still there all right my notes are still there this So now we have a whole octave. Looks like we're able to do that in 15 bars. Okay. So let me just play this and make sure I got everything covered and then and the tails are covered. duplicate this by using the alt key and dragging all right and I'm going to use the command to rename the parts I can't remember what the key command is right now but I know there's one under functions name regions by track name Alrighty, I'll select all the tracks and go to file, export, export all tracks as audio files. So these options are fine, fine. <laughs> and if you're using Logic Pro X, uh, if you don't want it to go all the way to the end of the project, um, you can either change the project length or make sure you have your uh, marquee tool selected in the region that you want exported. Otherwise, it'll go all the way to the end of the project length. All right, so we have that. We can get rid of these. That's fine. And let us add a new track for contact. External plugged in, so you see, contact is complaining. <laughs> All right, so let us browse for these files. Let's see, music, logic, bounces. one so I'm going to make a new instrument I'm going to open the way the mapping editor I'm sorry and I'm going to put each one
And like I said, there's a couple different ways you could have got this in here. If I really cared about the root key and whatnot, I could have exported um, each one um, as a separate um, track. And then the root key would have, you know, still carried over from from massive. But since we're going to mangle the, these sounds, the root key doesn't really matter. In actuality, I could, in actuality, I could actually put these side by side on the key range, but I like a little space in between. Um, you never know when you want to duplicate a, a, a zone and whatnot. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to send each of these to their own group for right now. Just use the edit key and move each zone to its own group. Clone. Boom. Now we have open the group editor. A handy thing to turn on is select um, by MIDI. What this does is uh, instead of you having to manually click which group you're on, you can just use your keyboard. Change my octaves. So this is base one. Change my octave of my keyboard. Went too far. That's base O three. Change the octave of my keyboard again, and that's base O four. I think I'm going to move these closer together so I don't have to keep switching the octaves on my keyboard. And I could have done other things as well, like export multiple samples so I could have different velocities. But you know, for you know the type of mangling we're about to do, I, you know, I don't think you'll get any added added value for doing that. Okay, so we have all the keys set we have each of the samples in different groups and now we are ready to move on to mangling these sounds so part two will be coming up and in part two we will look at resampling these sounds affecting them and filtering them until they sound like they don't sound like they used to sound So make sure you tune in for part two for that. So in conclusion, the recent dark bass sounds for massive sound amazing as is, but over this month long series, we'll sample, resample, affect them and filter them until they sound like something else. And don't forget to check out our website at www.contacttutorials.com for more contact tutorials and sounds. ADSR contact tutorials, supercharge your contact skills. This is DJ Nice signing off until next time. Now go make some music.